Okay, I'm thinking about possibly buying a loose graded, UKG graded uh, Boba Fett. It's a Hong Kong figure. It's graded 85 and the price is pretty okay. So what I'm doing is looking at the uh, sort of Boba Fett AFA prices. So this one's uh, 80. 42, not 55, there's 120, 150, that's a Taiwan, the one that I'm interested in is a Hong Kong COO, that's an unpainted light blue, that's 450, so most Boba effects are quite expensive, that's a 70 near mint, 40 quid there. This one's great, uh, 75, very nice. There's a Power of the Force 2, Tri logo with the THX leaflet. I mean, I just got one of those with the, without the leaflet quite recently, graded 85. There's a Toy Tony, 737, that's in the USA. That's how much it's got. It's still got six days, so Boba Fett's just such a hot figure. There's an 80 there, 103 pounds. That's a bid there, a little Lego figure. The white prototype figure. Loose. And Taiwan 85, that's 135. 145 there. 87, 81, that's an 80 Hong Kong. That's bid in the, in the USA. 142 for the vintage collection with the foil card, degraded. 85. Uh, that's an 85 Hong Kong AFA. 150 there for UKG 85. There's the green card, Power the Force. It's uh, 75, I think. No, it's no circles. Yes, yeah, 75. This is a uh, OTC, I guess, a VOTC. U90. It might be the um, vintage collection. Star Wars figure AFA graded Boba Fett 80, Hong Kong 130, 150 for Taiwan 85, that's AFA UKG, that's uh, Taiwan 108, that's carded 21 back, AFA 70. That's the one I've got. I haven't. Mine's not graded though. Desert scene. It's another buffet. It's a SDCC exclusive Revenge of the Jedi Vintage Collection 243. So, what you can see from this is that Boba Fett is just a hot figure. There's the droids coin. That's £812. This is all in sterling rather than US dollars. Here's uh, Taiwan 90, 650. Both the carded Boba Fett's I've got are um, Taiwan's. That's a light blue tri logo, 630. Power of the Force, Miss Card. Love to get that, but way too expensive. This one is the unpainted knee tri logo, 85, uh, 80, sorry, 400 quid. That's uh, the rocket firing, that's 150, 60 now. 21 back, 4 grand. So, what I'm gathering from this is, or what I already knew anyhow, was that Boba Fett's like really. 
expensive. There's a Toy Tony one again. That's the light blue. One thousand three hundred and eighty pounds, fifty pence. This one's eighty five Kenner. Hong Kong. 162 85 there, Lisbon Effect made in Hong Kong 568 for baggy, that's a bagged figure that's why it's so expensive green chest light green chest so there's a Bob Effect variant there that one's a light green chest, rare, 324. Hong Kong 85, 162. There, I think we've done most of them. 6,000 for, almost 7,000 for AFA 75. 21 back. That's a Taiwan there, 85. So I think the Taiwan's slightly more um, expensive than the Hong Kong, or more desirable. It's a new case there, 130 for AFA 80. Power of Force there, no circles. Uh, 75. That's a 75 graded there, 105. That's a 80 light green chest. That's a vintage collection. Power of Force. That's like the one I just got, this one. Mine was a lot cheaper than that. 21 back again. That's a high grade though, hence the high price. Desert Scene 60. That's 1,256. Mail Away 3,248. Another Toy Tony there. Sixty-five back. Oh, it's a Kenner. Sorry, it's a Kenner. So that's the one I've got as well. So I've got two. I've got that one and the um, Desert Scene. Both are ungraded. This one is a light green chest, the seventy-five. He's also got a Death Star droid as well for quite a good price. Both are UKG graded, both are 85s. But I'm more interested in the Boba Fett. That's 80, Hong Kong, 130. Power of Force, Half Circles, Variant, 130. 133 for AFA 85, near Mint, Hong Kong. This one is. Um, 80 Hong Kong Ku 80 so many 113 for 80 UK style Hong Kong have the force again I think that's all the Boba Fett's. That's a uh, vintage Taiwan 90, 523. Try logo 322 for an UKE 80. A Boba Fett there in the desert scene. What's this one? Boba Fett 85, Kenna vintage. Doesn't say which. Where it's from. Hundred seventeen for eighty five. So the one that, that I was looking at was seventy five. Buy it now. 
So I'm thinking, should I pull the trigger? And I'm f pretty convinced I should because Boba Fett is just a hot figure. I mean, these are what the sellers are asking in prices, so I'm probably they're not always going to sell at these prices. You can probably talk to the seller and um, you know get a good deal, or better, lower price. 121 for an 80 there. Okay, this is uh, the Boba Fett I'm looking at. It's 70 pounds. And yeah, it's a UKG 85. Let's just see if we can look at it better. It's a UKG 70, 85, sorry. Hong Kong though. This is probably the most common version of Boba Fett. Yeah. So do I strike while the iron is hot, so to speak? 70 quid for a Boba Fett figure. Should I buy this? Hmm. So I've added the Boba Fett to my basket. And now I'm looking at the Death Star droid thinking, hmm, shall I get that? Because postage will be the same for two. And I've bought from this geezer loads of times. It's always good quality stuff. So it's a Death Star droid, uh, 85 UKG. Uh, he wants 65 for that. This one here is an 80. That's 55 pounds. That's 450 for carded. This one's definitely a Toy Tony. This one is a uh, U85. It's 165 pounds. AFA. This is Death Star Droid 909090. So that would be a Toy Tony again. That's an 85 pounds there for an 80 plus. Hong Kong. All Death Star Droids will be Hong Kong. That's a Hong Kong 75. I mean, with the Death Star droids, it's hard to find a good Death Star droid with good paint. This one's at Empire Strikes Back, it's 895. It's a graded 85. This one's 85 loose vintage, AFA 243 in the States. This one's carded 41 back, it's a factory error. This one is a uh, graded AFA 85 near mint. This one's a 20 back D. That's 800, quite a lot. TSB there, Empire Strikes Back, 41 back, 85, 1200 thing. We're, we're interested in loose CAS, CAS, 80 near mint, AFA, Hong Kong Ku, yep. That's 130. Bagged. A baggy is 324. So that means the figure's still in its bag. 568 for that 21 back. Kenna there. Is that 77 back? That's a 77 or 65 back. There's a freeze frame. There's another one there. Here's another one. That's the one I'm looking at actually. That's £65. So, do I get more sold on the. I mean, I do love the Death Star Joy. It's one of my favourite figures. I remember having this as a child. And, you know, I just love the shininess of the figure. So 65 for a UKG Death Star droid. Let's look at it. So, gorgeous figure. There's 
grade 85 UKG Hong Kong origin classic figure that I'm still I mean and knowing about picking up the Death Star droid I mean I definitely want the Boba Fett I think because it's time for me to join the loose graded Boba Fett club and uh, but right this one this is the one I'd get 65 pounds for UKG 85 this one is another UKG it's an 80 65 pounds this one's 85 for a Hong Kong not AFA 75 percent it's 85 it's a carded one this one's a hundred pounds for the eighty-five UKG graded. Good old Death Star droid, Commander. Why is that so expensive? Oh, it's a factory error. Two one B medic droid, factory error. Two right legs, AFA, not UKG. So do I or won't, will I or won't I? I've got that set. It's 37.50 there. There's the power of the force free frame version. That one's twenty two loose. There's a twelve inch version there. The thing with the Death Star droid is that limbs tend to get really loose over time, especially if it's loose and well played with. So do I pull the trigger on this Death Star droid as well? Because it can be posted with the uh, Boba Fett at no extra cost. <laughs> That's a pretty flimsy reason to buy two figures. But the Death Star droid is one of my favourites. It is a nice figure. Very nice. So, what shall I do? Okay, so I've added the Boba Fett there, and I've got the Death Star droid as well. But if I uh, pay for them now, they'll come up with double postage, so I don't want to do that. So I want to uh, request a total from the seller which is up in this corner there so click on that It says, oh, uh, uh, yeah, it says, uh, uh, you can request a to total, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just uh, request a total and all of that. So I'm just requesting, hi, can you please combine postage and packaging? Cheers. And then he'll, he'll adjust the invoice and I, I can buy him hopefully pretty soon. eBay's not letting me uh, request, even though he says he does do combined postage and packaging. So what I can do is remove the Death Star droid. 
and proceed with the Boba Fett. And uh, I'll send him a message saying if you uh, sell me the Death Star droids with the Boba Fett, I'll take both with combined pa pa uh, packaging postage. But it is the Boba Fett I want the most, so that is the one, you know, and maybe in a way it's the way, you know, it's, it makes life easy, so, I mean, you know, it prevents buyer's regret. So the deed is done, I've bought the Boba Fett for £70 plus £4.55. Packaging, postage and packaging. It's a good price for a Boba Fett because he's good grade, eighty five, eighty five, UKG, Hong Kong Boba Fett. So I've got this variant now. Probably the most common Boba Fett figure, but still, Boba Fett is a. Uh, a law unto himself and so what what about the Death Star droid now do I, I I should just send the seller a message and say you know I'll take the Bob uh, Death Star droid if you include it him with the Boba Fett in terms of postage and stuff like that so here's the Boba Fett I've got all just bought 70 quid buy it now UKG uh, 85 here's one that's 140 pounds same grade and that's a Taiwan there's the light blue PBP pop 560 there's the UKG AFA 120 is that Hong Kong? It's 145. Get all four of them there, bounty hunters. There's an 80 for 42, 855. That ends on Sunday. Oh, that's a try logo, so that's going to go for a lot of money. Everyone wants the Tri logo. Another Tri logo there on cracked limbs. Another Tri logo. Near Mint Taiwan, 120. That's uh, 85. There's a Taiwan for 75. There's a coin there. I did buy something on, I think it was Saturday, so I'm going to show you that anyhow, and um, maybe it's better I don't buy the Death Star droid because I'm not a Rockefeller, am I? So on Saturday, I think it was Saturday 7th. I picked up one uh, Princess Leia Hoff Outfit Hong Kong U85 graded near mint so I think that's a good price as well for a Leia Hoff especially U85 uncirculated so let's look at that and then I shall end this overlong waffle. <laughs> so that's the layer. Very nice figure. Brilliant figure. There she is. Hong Kong Hoff Outfit U85. So I think I got this at a good price as well. So 
So that's what I won on Saturday. Um, I've got the Boba Fett now. I think I'll leave the Death Star droid because, you know, okay, I can get free postage on it, but it's going to cost a bomb. You know, everything adds up. And, you know, I've got a few, gra I've got a couple of graded, or oh, I've got a graded 21 back Death Star droid plus that cased Toy Tony uh, 45 back. So. I can live with what my what I've got in terms of Death Star droids, but Boba Fett is you know he's got a cachet. He's he's the main dude, and Princess Leia as well. She's quite a hot figure. So there is my you know buying a figure on a Monday evening. Okay, cheers, goodbye. There's the Orate I bought, the carded Bosk, pink Bosk figure. And yeah, quite a nice thing. So, and then I bought the loose figure. And then there's this one as well. This is a UKG 90. I thought this had sold though recently. So that's the Attack driver with the gun UKG 90 if I had the money I'd get this man these are really rare but then you can get there's the pink bosk very nice figure anyway time to end this video All right cheers goodbye